Hello, welcome back. This is Kench1913, and we are Let's Play Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Father, 20th anniversary. In the last episode, we visited Gran, and we got ourselves a letter and a picture from this clock over here. So let's go show Gran the picture of the clock and the, or the, the picture and the, and the thing. Yo, Gran, what's this Ritter photo, huh? Does this mean anything to you, Gran? That one people? in the middle is your grandfather. Those other two, I don't know. You don't know who that is? Come on now, Gran. You're, 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 what is this? Does this mean anything to you, Gran? Uh, no, dear. I'm afraid I don't speak a word of German. So, don't you know anything, Gran? Come on now. Can we talk, Gran? Of course, my boy. How can I help? What's Schottenjager? Have you ever heard of a Schottenjager? 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 Oh, how odd, Gabriel. I haven't heard that word in years. My goodness, you've given me a chill. Your granddad used to say that sometimes in his sleep. Really? Do you know what it means? No, I'm afraid not. I asked him about it once. I, I don't think he answered me. Odd. Hmm. Huh. Thanks, Graham. Well, you should have, because it probably would have Do you know him. anyone named Heinz Ritter? Heinz Ritter? Oh, Gabriel. Where did you hear that name? I found a letter in Granddaddy's clock. Oh, I promised I'd never tell you or your father, but... I suppose it doesn't matter now. Tell me, Graham. Your granddad's name was Heinz Ritter before he came to America. He changed it to House the Knight legally when he arrived. Oh, why? Why did he do that? Why did granddad change his name? I don't know. I tried to ask him about his family and his life before America, but he didn't want to talk about it. He never even told me about his name change. I found out one day when I saw his passport in a drawer. Since he obviously found it painful, I never questioned him about it. But I'm sure it wasn't trouble with the law. Your granddad was the best man I ever knew. Was he really? Didn't granddad ever say anything about his past or his family? Only that his family was crazy and that he never wanted to see them again. He believed in some family curse. Thought that he could spare Philip and Philip's children from what he called old nightmares. Too bad Whatever he didn't. Helson wanted to spare you, though. Oh, it cost him plenty. He never did sleep well, and he would often get a far away, guilty look in his eyes. He was wrestling with something he thought he should be doing, someplace he thought he ought to be. I don't know how he could think that he should be anywhere but with me and our child. It's a terrible way to live. Mm, it sounds like it's shitty. Do you know anyone named Wolfgang Ritter? Wolfgang Ritter? Oh, uh, no, dear. Huh. Odd. As I said, your granddad's surname was originally Ritter. Well, then maybe he's actually related to us, huh? Oh, nothing. Never mind. All right, dear. Well, hey, Gran, we're... I'd better get going. We're getting out of here. Take it easy on those women out there, will you, Gabe? Women? You're my only girl, Gran. Oh, what a nice guy. All right, so let's head back to the French Quarter. And head over to the St. Louis Cemetery number one. So let's head over here. We gotta head towards the Getty Tomb. And then over here, we gotta head up. To the right family tomb. Or the Gabriel Knight family tomb. If Gabriel wants to address his ancestors, he should choose a specific plaque. All right, well, let's look at Franklin. Oh, uh, hi. I'm Rebecca's grandson. Much as when they were alive, 
the right elders give no response. What about Meryl? Oh, uh, hi. I'm Rebecca's grandson. Much as when they... Well, that was Harley. Harley talks a lot about you, Harley. How's it going, Granddaddy? Hey, Daddy. Miss you, Mom. All right, so as you can see, there's a... Oh, shoot. Huh. Looks like someone left something in that vase. Yeah, you have to look at all those things in order to pick up this thing. What's over here? Look at that money. Looks it. like it's my lucky day. $20 reduce. Yeah, this is not in the original. They make it, they give you a good reason why uh, you need to come over here. Because you got to get that $20. Because in the original game... In the original game, uh, Willie Jr. only costed... Only cost $100. And in this game, he cost $120. So let's head to... Uh, the bookstore. Kids. Bruno, how nice. Yeah. Gee, a customer of yours? Hardly. How's the flower business? Well, better than the used book business, I see. Well, how you know? Rare books. That explains why I so rarely see anyone in here. Are you going to sell me that wonderful painting of yours today? Yeah, kind of need it. How much would you give me for it? Oh, you're serious? You'll let me have it? Gabriel, don't you dare sell your father's painting. Yeah, I'll let you have it all right. How much for the painting? Hmm, well, I could give you a hundred. That's all I can let go at the moment, you know. My affairs are so tied up. Oh, sure. Gabriel, a hundred dollars for your father's painting? Yeah, Stay see, out of this, Grace. See, she was a little more passionate in the uh, original. Fine. It's yours. Gabriel! Here. Here's the hundred. Yeah, I need that 120, Gracie. I need it! You better take good care of this, Bruno. This is not just another of your hip art pieces, you know. Really? Yeah. Well, I fully intend to make the most of its display. Though not for your sake, I'm sure. At least in my shop, there'll be a chance of someone actually seeing it. Why would, uh... Why would you hang that up I in a flower shop? I can't believe I actually got it. Just wait until I show Sid. I don't believe you. It, it's just a painting, Grace. There are things I have to do. Yeah, he needs money. He needs that sweet cash. Get the hell out of here. The figure outside. Uh, Alright, let's head into the bedroom. Alright. Let's use Wolfgang's number. And dial him up. Didn't Grace say you had to dial 011 first to get international? Yeah, so now you gotta dial Erreicht. I'm looking for Wolfgang Ritter. Yeah, ein moment. Yeah, is this Gabriel on the phone? This is Gabriel Knight. Why are you calling me, Mr. Ritter? I've been having premonitions of great danger for you, Gabriel. You must leave New Orleans this very day. What in the hell are you talking about? It is hard to explain on the phone. 
I have had dreams about you. It took me a long time to have you tracked down. I knew that Heinz had a grandson, but until this dream started, I did not know if I should contact you. You say you're related to my grandfather? Heinz was my brother. There is much about the family that you should know. Come to Schloss Ritter in Rittersburg, West Germany. It is our family home. I will tell you everything when you come. You must come immediately. You are in great danger there. Look, I appreciate the family spirit and all, but frankly, I don't know you from Adam, and I'm not going to fly off to Germany, even if I could afford it. Gabriel, please, if you won't listen, at least let me send you something. It is a journal from one of your ancestors. Promise me you will read it. You are the last of our line. I'm too old to carry on. You are our last hope. Please, for your family, read the journal. All right, I'll look at it. Good. Now be careful and come to me as soon as you can. Goodbye. All right, so there you go, Wolfgang. Our first meeting with the Wolfie man. All right, so let's leave. Now we're gonna head outside. See you later. See ya. So let's head to the Dixieland Drugstore. Hi. Uh, mm-hmm. Give him a hundred and twenty dollar reduce. I want that mask. I have a hundred twenty dollars. You still want to sell that crocodile mask? That's a hundred and twenty Shona. That mask is yours, sir. Yep. So yeah, you need a hundred and twenty dollars. They make it a little more difficult for you to get it in this game. Yeah, I think there might be one or two other, um... Here you go. Carefully don't bite you now. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Now, don't you go forgetting your Lagnia. A free bottle of Master Gambling Oil. The sign said I could get Lady Luck Oil instead. Well, I was thinking a man as young as you wouldn't be needing that kind of remedy. But, uh, you was having problems with your, uh... Uh, that's all right. Uh, believe me, I don't need it. I'll just stick with this. Thanks anyway. <laughs> Cause it ain't none of my business if you do need it now, huh? I don't need it. Oh, of course you don't. Yeah, you bastard. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Now we're gonna actually head over to the, um... The bowling house. Yeah, you got the rotted drummer outside. A street drummer has found a spot outside the Napoleon house. And let's talk to our bartender friend here. Now, I don't know if they uh, mentioned that him and... Uh... Could I ask you a few questions? Sure. I'm not too busy at the moment. Now, these guys are supposed to be friends. What can you tell me about voodoo? Voodoo? Don't believe in it myself. I invented a drink once called Laveau's too, but it wasn't very popular. Some people do believe, though. Even some of our regulars here at Napoleon House. What do you know about the voodoo murders? It's all over the papers. Some kind of serial killings. Yeah, crazy. What do you know about the voodoo murders? They say a lot of voodoo stuff is found near the bodies. That's true. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Everybody's talking about them. It's starting to scare off the tourists. Everybody's talking at me. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Greatest city in the world. I never want to live anywhere else. What can you tell me about New Orleans? This city must get about a million tourists a year, especially around Mardi Gras. What can you tell me about New Orleans? A lot of people come here because they think it's mysterious. All that talk about voodoo. I'd probably go down there for the jambalaya. What can you tell me about New Orleans? 
You should probably find a book on the subject, you know? What's the significance of St. John's Eve? All I know is, it's some kind of voodoo holiday. What's the significance of St. John's Eve? People who believe in that stuff think it's a real special night. Magical. Do you know anything about snakes? What about them? No, just anything. <laughs> you ask the weirdest questions. I don't know anything about snakes. Yeah, I think this Have guy's you ever name heard is of like Marie Max Lavo? or something. Sure. She's kind of the patron saint of voodoo in New Orleans. Don't know too much about her, but the tourists sure get off on all that stuff. Have you ever heard of Marie Laveau? Yeah, I'd probably go down to the museum in town. They'd know more about it than I do. I'd probably go. I probably do, do a lot of things. Do you know anything about animal masks? Eating. Come Mardi Gras, you see all kinds of masks in here. All kinds of good food. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? No. I prefer not to think about that kind of stuff, personally. Crime, perversion, weirdos, just makes me depressed. Does the name Ogun Bada Green mean anything to you? Never heard of it. Have you ever heard of Dambala? Never heard of it. Can you tell me anything about the secret voodoo houndfall? Are you kidding? Around here? Hope they aren't serving drinks. Well, if they are, I don't think anyone in his right mind would want one. Does the phrase Capri Sanko mean anything to you? Never heard of it. Yeah, this guy knows Have you nothing. ever heard of a Schottenjäger? You know what goes in it? I don't think it's a drink. Oh, then I probably don't know anything about it. You don't know anything. Tell me about yourself. A good bartender listens to other people's life stories without telling his own. Ooh. Hi, how's it going? It's been worse. Business picking up? Some. Mostly locals, as usual. You ever get tired of tending bar for a living? Never thought much about doing anything else. The weather's pretty crappy out there today. I wouldn't know. I never get out of here before dark. Yeah, see these? Tell me about the street musicians around here. I like music as much as the next guy, but they get pretty monotonous sometimes, you know? Like that drummer right outside. They say there's been a drummer outside Napoleon House since the day it opened. Now, I like drums, but this character really gets on my nerves. Yeah. It sounds like the same thing over and over. I just want to say enough already. Sounds like my life. <laughs> Tell me about the street musicians around here. Don't know what else I could say. This looks like a lively crowd. Lively crowds are trouble. These guys just sit and drink. That makes me happy. What can you tell me about yeah, your regulars so. in here? See those old guys at the chess table? That's Sam and Marcus. They've played there every day for 20 years. Sam, the one with the purple jacket, he's lost every one of those games. It's not that he's a bad player. I've seen him beat guys twice as good as Marcus. But Marcus has Sam so psyched out, he loses his nerve every time. By the way, Sam, the chess player, he's into that voodoo stuff. He's always talking about spells and gree gree and such. Really? Thanks. Yeah, so maybe they wrote him out and he doesn't so have... So what has Sam told you about voodoo? Well, about 50 years ago, Sam was too shy to talk to this pretty girl he was in love with. He went to a voodoo yen and had her make him a love charm. It was a little pouch that he had to bury under the girl's front porch. Well, he buried the pouch and the next day he went up and talked to the girl. And sure enough, she didn't reject him. Now she's his wife, poor guy. Interesting. Very interesting. Thank you. Excuse me, I, I hate to interrupt your game, but could I ask you a few questions? <laughs> what game? This ain't a game, it's a slaughter. <laughs> He's right, you know. So let me die in peace, would you? Yeah, so this guy needs some master gambling sign? order. It's about your game. I don't have a game, that's my problem. Don't you touch those chess pieces while I've gone, bastard. I never needed to cheat yet, you loser. <laughs> Thought you might be interested in this gambling oil. Let me see that. Master gambling oil. What's it for? Um... Don't you ever wonder why Marcus wins every time? Yeah, because he's using Whoa, it. hold it. You really think Marcus uses this stuff? Would I make something like that up? 
Get out of here. Marcus would never use something like this. Well, if that's what you want to believe. Yeah, it's powerful voodoo This is a powerful voodoo oil. Ah, go on. Really? This voodoo oil could make a nun get lucky. Really? You think it really works, like huh? that... I'd stake my reputation as a novelist on it. Hmm. And you say Marcus uses this? That explains a lot. Let me see that bottle. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like that luck potion from, uh, Gabriel Knight. I mean, This um, looks authentic. Harry oh, Potter. Is. If I could really beat that bastard. Stonewall, give me a pimp's cup, would you? Coming up, Sam. Oh, his name's Stonewall, that's what it is. And yeah, you can see there's, a uh, Napoleon's picture up on the top there. How much put in here? Careful, you don't want to overdo it. Too much luck can be dangerous. Ha! <laughs> There's no such thing as too much. Now stand back. Come on already. I'm ready to checkmate. We'll see about that, Mr. Smarty Big Mouth. Huh. Hmm. So what will happen here? Checkmate! <laughs> checkmate, you bastard! Son of a bitch! What the years I've been waiting to say that. Checkmate! 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 You are the biggest butthead Sam Singleton that I have ever met. Checkmate! You... You can just put that chessboard where the sun don't shine. Hallelujah! I did it! Yippee! Yeah, you beat Marcus. Nicely done. Nice game. Nice game! Hell, I was brilliant! Of course, I gotta give some of the credit to that oil of yours. I've been losing to that guy for 20 years. If you ever need a favor, you cup the sand, you hear? Will do. Well, actually, I do have a favor to ask of you, sir. If you could take this man, mold here and make a beautiful snake thing, I would be very, very... Could you do anything with this? What is this, a clay mold? Hmm. Well, I am a jeweler, you know. And I owe you one. Would you like me to cast this for you? If you can. You got it, pal. Actually, it'll be a pleasure to get my tools out. First time in years. I've been too busy playing that goddamn game. I'll have you... the bracelet later today. Right now, I feel like I could do anything. Meet me here in a few hours. Right, thanks. Well, then why do you have an ad in the paper if you haven't used your tools in forever? You open a drum up business or something? All right, let's get the hell out of here now. My stone wall. Now it's time to head over to Mosley. Oh, they got a guy here too. Shit. Hey. The drummer looks at Gabe Robot says nothing in return. This is crazy, creepy. All right, let's head into Mosley's office. Knight, hate to tell you this, but you're out of a book. The voodoo murders case has been closed. I had a feeling you were gonna say that. Son of a bitch. All right, so let's talk to Mosley about how we can reopen the case. I have to tell you, bud, I'm pretty pissed off about this case being closed. You guys are making a big mistake. Hey, I'm not any happier about it than you are, Knight, but I've got my orders. How can I convince you to reopen the case? Look, the department's not interested. So, couldn't you make them interested? With what? I got seven bodies and still no leads. The voodoo angle's worthless, and besides, these people aren't hurting anybody but out-of-town drug dealers and hitmen. The voodoo stuff is not worthless. It's the key to the whole thing. And these people are dangerous. They need to be stopped. Okay, you want me to reopen this case? Prove what you just said. What do you mean? You need to prove that there's a legitimate voodoo cult in Narland. Prove that they're a threat. Get me a lead on the cult. All right. How can I convince you to reopen the case? I already told you. You still need to... Prove that there's a legitimate voodoo cult in Narland. Prove that they're a threat. Get me a lead on the cult. 
Alright, that sounds good. Alright, we gotta leave. Bye-bye, Mosley. I'm gonna hit the road. Ciao, baby. So now we gotta figure out how to do all of that. But yeah, it's, it's sad that they they changed some stuff around. They made Stonewall not um not part of uh like that he knows Gabriel. That kind of stinks, doesn't it? All right, so we come over here to the Jackson Square Overlook. The one time we get to look over here, I guess we can use this one. That's Crash. What the hell is he up to with that drama? Huh, Crash and the drama. Interesting. Yeah, so now we see that. Let's exit. Now, before we go and see and confront Crash, let's come back and here we go, Sam. See, this is why this is done a little earlier. Sam, my man. Hey there, it's you. I got that bracelet for you. Seems too quick that he made everything. This piece was a real toughie. For some reason, the metal just wasn't setting. I must be out of practice. Well, it looks good to me. Thanks, Sam. No problem. By the way, I'm heading out of town tonight. Yeah? Where to? Marcus used to tell me that if I ever beat him at chess, he'd take me around the world. The old bastard has enough money stuffed in his mattress to cover the federal deficit, and he hates spending a penny of it. I'm going to enjoy watching him squirm through every mile. Sounds, Sounds like fun. Good yeah. luck. Are you kidding? Luck is my middle name. I don't know about that, but all right. So yeah, there we go. We got the snake bracelet. Now let's head over to the St. Louis Cathedral. All right, let's talk to Crash. As you can hear, he's not doing too good. I need to talk to you. Ask you some questions. <laughs> no way, man. I'm too sick. Go away. Come on. I have to know what you know about these voodoo people. Uh, you don't know nothing about nothing, man. You are so far out of it, you wouldn't understand anything. Just like that friend of yours, Mosley. <coughs> Go away. I'm not like Mosley. I know more than you think I do. I'll believe you. Oh, forget it, man. It's not worth my breath. Right. At this point, let's show him the snake bracelet. Do you recognize this? Uh, where did you get that? Why? Do you know something about it? Know something about it? Look at this. Crash opens his shirt and reveals a tattoo. It's the same. The same snake. It's their sign, man. The bark of the snake. Gambala. <coughs> Without it, they'll never let you get close. The sign of the snake, right. Your tattoo, my bracelet. Now do you believe that I know something about these people? All right, yeah. You know about them. I... <coughs> I guess. <coughs> All right, now that we convinced Crash, let's talk to him about what's going on. Will you answer some questions for me now? Okay, I'll talk to you. A little, but make it fast. Yeah, look at him. He's all cracked up. Tell me what you know about voodoo. Look, take some advice. Stay away from this voodoo shit. You don't really want to know, man. Believe me. Do yourself a favor and leave me alone. Yeah, he doesn't have that forcefulness. What can you tell me about Norris? Man, can't you see I'm sick? Don't bug me with stupid questions. Does the name Ogun Badagri mean anything to you? No! Don't say that name. Why not? It's evil, man. Do you know anything about snakes? The eyes. Snake's eyes. Dumbala. Okay, calm down. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? Nothing. Just leave me alone. Do you have any idea what Capri Sancal means? I never heard of that. 
Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? I don't know her. Honest. Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo hound for all knowledge. Oh, man. Just shut up about that. Can't you see I'm sick? Are you trying to kill me? Yeah, a little bit, maybe. Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo hound for all knowledge. I told you. I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> Go away. Do you know anything about animal masks? No. Leave me alone about that shit. What do you mean? You've seen them, haven't you? No. Not me. Leave me alone. Tell me about the animal masks you've seen. I said drop it, man. What a, what a baby. I want to know about the voodoo murders. You're on the right track. That's all I can say. I'm not going to risk my life by talking about it, man. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? What the hell is that? Voodoo's voodoo, man. Tell me what you know about Don Bala. No. Don't say that word. They'll hear you. They who? Shut up, man. You gotta be quiet. Do you know anything about Veves? I never heard of that. Have you ever heard of a shot in Jaeger? I never heard of that. Oh, you look pretty sick. Shouldn't you be in a hospital? No, oh, a hospital wouldn't do nothing. Just leave me alone. Tell me about yourself. <coughs> I'm sick. Dying. Eating the big enchilada, man. What the fuck else matters? Yeah, see... I saw you talking to that drummer. What did you tell him? You saw me with the drummer? Tone. Nobody's supposed to see. Oh, shit! I blew it again. Promise you won't say nothing to no one. It'll get back to him. Everything does. Promise me you won't tell anyone you saw me. Okay, but you have to tell me everything I want to know. Okay, okay. All right. I was sending a message, man. They have these rider drummers posted around the quarter. They see everything, and they report. Report? How? The drums, man. It's some kind of code. Really? Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo hound for all knowledge. All right, all right. This is underground cartel in Nolens. A voodoo cartel. They control everything that happens on the street. I mean everything that's bought or sold. They have fingers in the legit world too. Banks, foreign stuff, you name it. They're supposed to be this temple. What you said, a hound for. That's their headquarters, man. I heard people say it's underground. Somewhere in the Quarta. I don't know where, though. Have you ever been there? No, no. I've never been in it. I'm nobody, man. A runner. But I saw them once. Out at the lake. They became animals, man. Beasts. I remember the eyes. The eyes. Hey, are you okay? The eyes. The eyes of the snake. I think I should go get a doctor. <coughs> hey, are you all right? <coughs> Someone, I need help. Yeah, at least you tried. The right? eyes, the, the eyes of the snake. Dumb bala. Crash. Crash spasms twice more, then dies as Gabriel watches. Oh my God, oh, poor bastard. What a what a way to go. Crash is dead. He's not going to be... Alright, I got it. Yeah, let's draw the picture of the snake on the shirt. Where the hell is my notebook? Oh, it's down here. I guess I'd better copy this tattoo. Yeah. Crash's face shows signs of strangulation. His death was not a pleasant one. Yeah, someone... Moving to body is the job of the coroner's office. Yeah, all right. Well, we're out. I'm out. I'm not telling anybody. It's getting late. Gabriel decides to go home for the day. Alright, so there we go. Day four is over. Hello? It's me. I can't sleep. Oh, me neither. Can I? Yes. Come. It's 
so he spends the night at Malia Getty's house. Day five. The road was blocked, the truth was shown, the white flag had been waved. Versa cost me all I had and everything I'd braved. Gabriel? Sure. Great. Why? I'm worried about you. If I were any better, Grace, I'd be dead. Now what's up? You got another package this morning. Overnight from Germany. It must have been cost a pretty penny. I was expecting that. Where is it? Well, it kind of came open, but I salvaged the contents. There was a letter from your great uncle Wolfgang and a journal. The package just came open, huh? How'd you like the journal? Someone has to look after you. You're in trouble, in case you didn't know it. Yeah, you've been reading my horoscope again, haven't you, Grace? Just read the journal carefully, Gabriel. Please. I got it. St. George's books. Oh, Professor Hartridge. I'm glad you called. Did you? Oh, you did. You did. Oh, wait. Slow down. They agree. Really? You think that's them? We're well, within a wheel. Oh, Goombat agree, huh? Well, that does sound like it. Dambala, the snake. That's the wavy pattern at the bottom. Okay. The 1791 slave revolt in Santa Domingo? Well, why would the Veve show up there? Uh-huh. Okay, okay, okay. Look, I'll come over as soon as I can, okay? Relax, Professor. I'm excited too, but you're gonna give yourself a heart attack. Okay, thanks. See ya. I wish you'd tell me what's going on. I swear you're gonna step into a hole you may never get out of. Don't look so worried. No one knows what I'm doing. I'm perfectly safe, and I'm getting some great stuff for the book. Besides, there's something about all this. My dreams. Hey, you what about had your one. dreams? Oh, nothing. I'll be careful. I promise. You haven't had one in two days. Did you find out anything about that pattern I gave you? Yeah, I did find something. I checked the microfiche at the public library. I found an article about a murder in 1810. The newspaper published part of a pattern found around the body. It looks damn close. You're incredible. All that work. Forget it. All right, so that's about it for this episode. In the next episode, we will, um, we'll probably, uh, oh, I want to do a new save. Gabriel Knight, one, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, so yeah, in the next episode... What we'll probably do is we'll go through a, a good chunk of what we need to do in the beginning here. And then I'm going to show you off the um, the graphic novel because now we're going to get to the nitty gritty of what that's all about. So I've been Kenshin1913 and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.